Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today we are out on the ice. We are going to get set up for spearing. Look at this behind us. Look at that lake, the fog rolling across the top. It's going to be a beautiful morning, guys. Stick with us. All right, guys. So we have our whole drill. It's not as big as we'd like, but yours truly forgot a, the extra batteries for the drill at home. So we had literally two bars left. So we were managed to drill a small hole. We'll get that cleaned up and I'll show you guys that. And then we actually uh, reopened some old holes to throw some tip ups out. So the day is saved, which is good because we were totally bummed that we had forgotten the battery and uh, we were halfway to the lake when we realized it. So we're going to get the hub set up and we're going to get fishing, guys. That's a hole. Alright guys, so we got our hole here. Like I said, not quite as big as we would have liked, but uh, this will do, seeing as how we forgot our extra battery. Right? Yes. Yes. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and get the house over the hole. Just wanted to show you guys that. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Alright guys, we are set up. We got the house up. We got the hole going. We got our spear anchored. Uh, we just used one of our, our hub house ice anchors, anchored that off in the corner and with some 550 paracord. So that's not going to go anywhere. We got that set up. We're swimming the decoy. We didn't, uh, this is our first time ever going out spearing. So we, uh, we don't know what we're doing. We've researched, we've watched some videos and, uh, and we're learning. So if you guys have any tips or hints, you know, shoot us a message over on Instagram and, uh, and let us know what, uh, what we could do different, but obviously a bigger hole and, uh, you know, I don't know if the spot we picked is the greatest, but like I said, we're learning. We're just going to go with it. So um, Colton's over here. He's he's running the decoy. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to get some pike coming in here. In just a moment, I'm going to go set up some tip-ups. So I'll bring you guys out for that. And uh, we've got a new tip-up to try out. So we're excited about that. Straight up. So here's our view. Here's the television, folks. Like I said, we got the decoy down. Try to get it over there for them. There it is. So it's just classic white and red. Got our spear chilling over there, anchored in the corner. I'll try not to drop my phone down the hole. That would be a bummer. That would stink. So our thought process was to get the GoPro and mount it up above, but uh, like I said, in the, the frustration of forgetting the battery and everything else that uh, went along with that and having to kind of hodgepodge a smaller hole, we you know didn't uh, set the house up quite how we had envisioned it, but like I said, this is our first time out. And, uh... All right, guys, so here is our new tip-up. This is the, just the Fraybill Classic wooden tip-up. So this thing's pretty sweet. This is the first time we're going to be using it. So we'll go ahead and get a bait out of the angle, and we're going to get this thing rigged up. All right, guys. So I've already got this rigged up with line and a leader, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just add our quick strike rig, and we'll be fishing. Colton's right over here in the dark house, playing with the, uh, the circle decoil. All right, so we'll just pull that off there. So the guys at uh, Prior Lake Bait and Tackle hooked us up with some really good minnows and uh, picked these up yesterday. So, I mean, look at that sucker. <laughs> They're massive. I got really good bait down there, guys. So I'm gonna put that big one, we're gonna use him in the house as a, as a decoy for the spearing. So 
So I just hook these guys right behind the dorsal fin. He's ready to go. All right, guys, so Ice House is behind us and uh, we gave up on spearing. So we're gonna have to do some more scouting around, but uh, in the meantime, you know, what do you do when everything goes wrong? You, uh, you could just pack up and go home and count it up to, you know, lessons learned and, you know, accept the fact that you got skunked, which we haven't gotten skunked at all this year, or you give your kid a spud bar and you set them loose on, uh, on old holes and you go hole hopping and you catch perch. So, hey, we're not skunked. We got some fish on the ice. And, uh, yeah, the day is saved. There we go. Just got a little <laughs> chisel hole about big enough for my line and the vexilar. And, uh, yeah, just picking some perch on the bottom. Yeah, we're almost packed up here, so we got to go get a branch to cover our spear hole. But uh, figured, it, you know, we were catching some perch out here. We'd see if we can catch a few more. So we got three on the ice. See if we can uh, get We've two caught or three four. more. I released one. Yep, little guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't a little guy. It was a. It was an okay size, but yeah. I just didn't. I, I put down a rule that I was only going to catch five and keep five. Okay. So I just put that one back because I want to only keep five because then it's not too much, not too little. Right. Five is enough for a good little snack, but putting some back into the resource. Yep. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap up this episode. Uh, we learned some stuff about spearing, and we're going to do some more homework. So, But uh, we appreciate you guys checking out this episode. We appreciate you hanging out with us here to the end. We appreciate every subscription, every like, every share, everything we get. It means a lot to us. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right down in the bottom before you leave and uh, show us some love. Head over to Instagram, check us out there, and uh, check out day-to-day -day photos. Hit us up on our merch shop, www.tiredaxeoutdoors.com. Pick up hoodies and merch and t-shirts and stickers and all kinds of fun stuff. So head over there and support the channel. Ready to go? Yes. All right, man, we're going to head out. 